How to Navigate the Highs and Lows as a Solopreneur Tim Ferriss claims that bipolar depression is extremely common among entrepreneurs and the self-employed. Why? Because being self-employed is a darn emotional roller coaster. The highs are extremely high. Imagine waking up one morning to find that your website was shared on a big news site and has gained almost a million hits. You've earned thousands of dollars overnight from ad revenue and sales and you can see clear skies ahead. Imagine being asked to give an interview with a prominent media outlet to talk about your success. Imagine watching sales from your new mobile app tick upwards every minute. But then there are the lows. How about waking up to find that years of hard work has gone down the toilet because Google has de-indexed your website? What about being sued by someone because your advice caused them to lose money? Think being shouted at by your boss is stressful? How about being shouted at by 10 angry clients or 300 angry customers who just downloaded your app? And here's the difference between working for someone versus working for yourself. When you work for someone else and you have an unproductive day, you still get paid. When you work for yourself and you have an unproductive day, you get nothing. Have a bad month? You still get nothing. That's another thing. Working for yourself is highly volatile and unpredictable, and that's why some people refer to bipolar depression as the entrepreneur's disease. And on the flip side of this, your clients won't respect that your home time is your home time. They'll think nothing of emailing you at 5 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday to tell you the work you handed in three days ago was rubbish. And you'll have the same problem. You'll always be tempted to finish a little early on a Friday or to work a little late on a Wednesday. Goodbye body clock. Goodbye healthy sleep. Goodbye good quality work. Working from home gives you freedom, and that freedom can give you the option to become incredibly healthy, happy, and effective. At the same time, though, freedom also comes with responsibility. Fail to manage that time well, and it can all go wrong. So how do you navigate the highs and lows? How do you stay emotionally hardy and resilient? How do you maintain the strength of character to weather the storms? Because here's the thing, sunshine. Your ability to stay strong during these tough times is what will define you as a successful entrepreneur. That character trait is the predominant difference between highly successful business owners and those that sink under the weight of responsibility. First, you practice developing mental toughness. This is actually a key feature of military training, especially in elite units like the SAS. You can learn the techniques they use, but also practice getting outside of your comfort zone. Taking up CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, is a very good idea. This is a practice that teaches you to distance yourself from stressful thoughts by changing the way you think about them. This can be transformative when it comes to dealing with difficult situations, especially when combined with meditation, which teaches you to keep your mind focused. Use cognitive stimulation. This means rehearsing scenarios in your mind in order to prepare for them and in order to prepare contingency plans. If you do this properly, then no turn of events should come as a complete surprise to you and you should be ready for any eventuality. Follow these tips and you'll find it's possible to stay sane even as things don't seem to be going well around you. Who else will hold everything together if you go to pieces too? For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.